I guess I should probably create a playlist titled Completely Random Babble Vlogs by Drew. I think so. Let's go. Let's go. It is Drew with Trust the Process. You know, I, I say completely random, but... Uh, but I don't really believe in random, right? I don't believe in uh, coincidences. I believe that everything happens for a reason. I named this channel Trust the Process for a reason. And I believe that everybody that we, that we, everybody, I don't know how that sounded when I said it, everybody that we run across, the people that we meet and interact with in this world are here for a reason. And, uh, and so, so whenever I say that and I'm making a video, it's like, I say it like all the time. I feel like I say it like in every video. Like, oh, I'm just going to be randomly. I don't necessarily feel like it's random, right? I'm talking about things for a reason. It comes to my mind for a reason. Um, it's just that I feel like I'm not really like, I'm not really scripted, right? Um, part of that I like. Part of it I don't because I, I almost said scripted. But, but the ones that I kind of have a little bit more planning, uh, a little bit more... Uh, like if, if I'm super in the moment and passionate about something, um, you can feel it whenever I'm making that video, like, and I just go straight to the point, you know, and, um, and sometimes those videos, are, those are like the easiest ones for me to make. Sometimes they're the hardest videos to make. Um, because if I'm passionate about something, sometimes it might involve kind of, Somebody else might not like what I have to say. I guess you could put it that way, right? And uh, and so I did that earlier this week. I, I made a video in which I was pretty passionate about. Uh, I halted myself from posting the video, and um, and so I, I overthought it. You know, it's it's nice. I I have people that that I work with that follow me on this channel, and and that's a blessing and a curse, I guess. Like being loved. By Drew, it's a blessing and it is a curse. Um, I promise you that. Um, anybody who's ever been loved by me can attest to that. So, so it's a blessing and a curse because I overthink everything now, right? I think about my older videos and I'm like, man, like, would I even get into half of the stuff that I talked about then, now? Um, and and in some ways, that's kind of a bummer for me because, honestly, like. I appreciate people in this world who are just raw, like super raw, authentic, and no filter whatsoever. They just say it how it is. They don't care. They don't care. Their mom, dad, aunt, uncle, like their pastor could be watching it. Like it doesn't matter who's watching this video. I'm just going to tell you how it is. And so many of us in this world put a filter on ourselves for what reason? It's not because of ourselves, right? It's not us. We're putting that filter on ourselves because we don't we don't want to be judged. We don't want to be looked at funny. We don't want to sound stupid. Whatever. And um, and so I I struggle with that a little bit. Um, and I I would blame it on the fact that it's just my job. But I've done the same thing. Sorry, Dad. But but I've done the same thing for you on some of my videos. Sorry, Mom. I've done the same thing for you. I've got ants. Right, I won't call each one out individually, but I love my aunts very dearly. My uncles are great, but my grandmother back in the day, I guess she was getting busy because I had, you know, nine, eight aunts and uncles because my mom was one of nine children. Um, and I love each and every single one of them, but I'm not going to go through and, and count them all out. But the, the aunts had a big impact on my life, right? Big impact on my life. And, um, they all unique in their own individual ways, but but I have held back from saying certain things because of them, you know. So I can't blame it just on my job, but uh, but anyways, I've I've filtered myself, and and so uh, I I've tried to get better at that at, at kind of removing that filter. Um, but I'm so thankful for the people that are in my life in which I can remove that filter in which I can just be like full-blown brat Drew, right? Where I can tell you exactly what I'm thinking and and I feel comfortable enough 
sounding stupid that I can say whatever I want to say in front of you. I can't tell you how much it means to me to be able to sound stupid in front of somebody and not feel judged for it. That might be one of like one of the best feelings somebody can give this guy is to allow me to really sound stupid and not be judged for it. I probably could stop this video and start an entire video as if I knew exactly what I was going to talk about. It was going to be sounding stupid in front of people and not being judged for it and how that's the greatest feeling ever. Random vlog. That's what I would title it. <laughs> but it wouldn't be random because little did you know that Drew had stopped this video and started a whole new one and it sounded like I had it all planned out. And voila. Voila. I love voila, right? I really would love to expand my vocabulary. I've talked about this just a little bit, but I've thought about I thought about maybe incorporating like word of the day, right? So somebody uh, in my life sent me a word of the day one day. They're big on expanding their vocabulary. And and I've been just kind of like uh, infatuated. I don't know. Uh, I've just become very interested in trying to expand my vocabulary, right? Um, you know, break out some of that shoe polish and, and polish drew up a little bit. You know what I mean? Let's Let's bring some sophistication to my vocabulary here. And, um, and so I've thought about like incorporating that in my videos, not just having like just a word of the day video, but incorporating that into my video, like today's word of the day, kids. And it's voila. I don't even know. Is voila a word? All I know is that that word reminds me of V and V for Vendetta. And obviously like pretty much everything he uses throughout this uh, first major scene he's in in that movie starts with a V. One of my favorite scenes from that movie, one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, I've got the dude tattooed on my arm. I'm a little bit of a fan. Um, so, voila, as soon as I said it, took me back to that movie and made me think of it, which then led me down this sidetrack road of explaining how uh, I'd like to do a word of the day video and now I'm at over seven minutes and I can't even tell you really what I was talking about. The ability for me to talk like that, like this, not be judged for it, is maybe the best feeling that I can have. I said that I said that recently, I said in a video, I said, I do not mind being the dumbest person in the room. And in fact, I love surrounding myself with people who are smarter than me. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it, right? I'm not gonna look back and go, man, I shoulda, coulda done this in my life. I coulda, coulda went to school. I coulda taken advantage of opportunities when I was in the Air Force that I didn't because I was lazy. I could go back and I could replay all those things, right? But it's not going to do me any good right now, right? It's not going to do me any good. It's not going to do my kids any good. It's not going to do my coworkers, my family, my friends. It's not going to do anybody any good if I go back and I start beating myself up over things I have no control over now. So what I have to do is I got I to gotta move forward and try to be the best version of myself I can possibly be. So surrounding myself with people who are smarter than me is a way for me to pick up on things, to learn things. And, um, and so... So I, I don't mind being the dumbest person in the room, um, but sometimes sometimes I don't want to feel dumb. And I say I don't want to feel dumb, but it's more so like I don't want to feel dumb and feel like I'm judged for it, right? Because I tell people, I tell people I work for, I want to be able to sound stupid in front of you and have you correct me because then I'm going to learn from it, right? I want to be able to use a word the wrong way or express myself and you go, eh, I don't know, maybe you should present it this way because then I can learn from it. But if I hold back and I don't feel comfortable enough to be able to open up to you, then I'm not going to learn. And I think so many of us, right, we filter ourselves and I've done it for so much of my life. I've filtered myself trying not to look dumb. And all it did was make me dumb, right? If you ever heard like the, 
the only dumb question is a question that's not asked. Like that's just kind of how it is. If we don't ask the questions, if if we don't allow ourselves to be vulnerable enough to open up, to be a little bit dumb and to learn from our mistakes, then what are we doing? Right? We're wasting our time. And I've wasted too much time in my life not being dumb, not allowing myself to fall and make mistakes because I could have learned a long time ago what voila meant. Just an example. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, allow yourself to be dumb. Um, I, I had a meeting today in which I'm, I'm listening to my boss and she's talking about She's talking about people speaking up, right? And how so many times there's a group full of people and like there's multiple people that don't understand something, but nobody has the balls to put their hand up and say, I don't understand. I don't get what you're talking about. And when you don't do that, you walk out of the meeting and you still don't know what anybody's talking about. And I've been in too many meetings where I didn't raise my hand and go, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Raise your hand. I'm being a hypocrite. I'm going to try to make a better example, right, and and do it myself. And when I don't understand something, to raise my hand and not be afraid to sound dumb. Because um, if I'm going to tell you that I don't mind being the dumbest person in the room and I want to learn from these people, then I better man up and stick to it and uh, and stay true, all right? So is this a random vlog? I don't know. I don't really think it's random at all. I think the universe kind of works its magic and uh and everything happens for a reason again it's why i say trust the process right so if you actually watch this video and um and you're paying attention to what i say on the regular i appreciate you very much uh it really does mean a lot um i got a friend of mine right now that's kind of battling uh and this person has helped me out a lot. He's meant a lot to me. And um, and so I just want to throw up a prayer for him and, and just say, God be with this dude because he's a, he's a really good guy. He means a lot to me. And um, and I know he'll get through this. He'll be fine. But um, but regardless, um, you know, uh, I just wanted to say that real quick because he's helped me out so much with this channel. He's been a good friend. And... Um, and he's just he's a cool dude so uh i'm gonna keep grinding he's gonna keep grinding we're gonna keep moving forward we're always gonna trust the process and when 2019 is over dude <laughs> 2019 is over you already know man the sky's the limit all right we're going past the moon we're hitting all the stars on the way right let's go